Hey guys, it's Cheryl from Tinker's Card Art and I'm popping in today to show you these little cards that I made from my paintings. It's quick and easy and it's so nice these days to maybe get a piece of mail in the actual mail and not an email. And you can do this very quickly and easily from your own paintings. You're making uh, all kinds of cool creative things, you're painting, and sometimes you want to just make a little card. Simple. I just go to the craft stores, uh, buy a pack of blank cards, comes with the envelope, there's 50 in this pack, it's a great deal. And all I do is I make copies of my paintings. Now you could print them yourself if you wanted to, but a lot of times the online uh, printing places have great specials and you can get 50 prints made for a very low cost. And so I would keep your eye out for that. But as on the fly, you could just print your own paintings. I just print them up regular four by six size. And it's so simple and it's so impressive. People think you're like amazing. And I double use double-sided tape, stick my little print uh, on the card there. Now, double-sided tape works really well. I don't know if I would use a glue stick. It might come off. Double-sided tape, print on your little image of your painting. And then on the bottom, I'm not sure if you can see it, but then I sign it. So can you see how I have centered the image and brought it up a little bit so you have a little more room here and then on the lower corner here I'll sign my name with a technical pencil and then you can put a title here and you look fancy smancy and um, if you have stamps if you do some stamping you could always stamp the inside with a greeting which is kind of nice I usually just write something but you can take any painting this is a watercolor I did in the cl for class any of your paintings look great mounted on these little cards you can go horizontal you can go vertical and I think it's just really a fun, simple idea. And you might not have thought of it, but uh, also with your photographs. So I take a lot of photographs and I'll use those because you can compose really cool photographs. This was from um, from the Brimfield uh, Antiques Fair we have here in Massachusetts a few times a year. It's a cool place to get some great photos of all sorts of things. So in my mind, when I'm walking around, I am always looking for little interesting little bits, whether it's in a antique store or just out in my everyday travels, grab that photo and, and those make great cards too. So simple, you just need a pack of the blank cards with the envelopes, some double-sided tape, a pencil sharpened pretty well or a technical pencil is even better because when you do your signature on the bottom and you give a little title, you don't want it to be a big smudgy line, you want something finer. I would do it in pencil rather than pen, it's just a little more subtle. You can stamp a greeting on the inside or just write something and you have cards for all occasions. So I just wanted to pop in and give you that little tip because I know my my uh, when I do my classes and I tell people that you can not only hang up your painting, but you can duplicate it and make some cool little things from it too. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.